guys, welcome back to the vlog. And uh, before we start today's vlog, um, we wanted to have Sam inform you guys on something about compassion. Sam? Uh, so, you know what they say is not to like hold your phone or technology out in case someone steals it. Uh, yeah, so uh, just want to take a quick second to let you guys know if you go to compassion.com slash J. Sorry, it's, it's kind of weird like looking at myself up here, but you're not just so excited to look yeah, at the, look at the, the look at the deal. Look right there. Okay, so go to compassion.com slash J. Stu. Link is down in the bio. Uh, in the description. The next three people? Three people? Yeah. yeah. To, sponsor, uh, to sponsor a child. Uh, we're gonna give you a shout out, but don't just sponsor to get the shout out, right? Like, yes. sponsorship is a commitment. It's a monthly commitment that will help uh, you build a relationship with a child uh, living in poverty here in Sri Lanka. The commitment is a big deal. Don't take it lightly, but it can make a huge difference in the life of a child. Why is yeah. the commitment so important though? Yeah, I mean, it's not just a one-time deal, right? Like, um, we're trying to build commitment through uh, through relationship with uh, with the kids uh, in these uh, in, in these countries because the relationship is uh, it has to be strong it, it's supposed to be strong relationships are are uh, are powerful things yeah. um, the stronger the relationship that you build with the child um, the more encouragement that you give the more love that you uh, that you send um, the, the greater the chances that this child will be encouraged to uh, to help break the cycle of poverty. The more you tell them about Jesus, the more that you show uh, Christ's love, uh, the better. Yes. So guys, join this movement, making the world a better place. Click the link in the description, check it out, and uh, thanks for sharing that, Sam. Yeah, you bet. We are exploring uh, the city, the, the main city area of Sri Lanka before we go, and why? They have elephant here in the middle of the city. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's what? happening? What? what? Hi, buddy. <laughs> oh, well, well, I don't have any money, so okay. What I was gonna say is, um, it's unfortunate that this elephant's just in the middle of the city. They haven't like chained on two legs. Like, I'm not sure why, but it's a temple elephant. Oh, temple elephant. Yeah. Still though. It's... No. That's... Oh, this way. Yay. Thank you. So they have a lot of teas in this section. No, this is the bath stuff. Oh, really? Teas are over there. Oh, whoops. I thought this was more tea. I was like, wow, lots of teas. Okay, this is the tea section. Yeah. Many flavors. You find something, Andrew? <coughs> what is, is it, this? It's a custom massage chair. You can, you can lay here and go, ow. What? <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I would consider it more of a torture device. I found this little journal. Elephant dung paper products made out of elephant dung in post-consumer paper. What? Do you want to get it? Yeah. We're finding lots of cool things here. Some journals, like a purse. We already found some, uh, I don't know what those are, like pants, coffee. 9,500. Done checking out the local, bro. The local market. Now we're gonna try some uh, of the local food places. I think like a local Sri, Sri Lankan food. Nope. We made it. Oh. oh, thank you. It's time to check out the buffet food items. Start right here. Um. I do not know. Crab curry? Whoa. I it's gonna be adventurous. Yes. I don't want to be too adventurous. You have a plane ride right, coming up. Right. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awful? What is that? I don't know. 
a coconut bird. Mouse. Yeah. Mouse? It looks like a pig. <laughs> what? In the front. <laughs> Okay guys, uh, we have uh, the rest of the day to chill out here at the hotel before we have our flight tonight at 3 a.m. We leave at 9, so we're getting a quick workout in at the gym. Um, with these views, which is insane. And then we're gonna go to the pool afterwards. But we have to sleep on this next flight. So we're trying to get tired. I've been really wanting to work out again, as well as you guys, so this is much needed. Okay, we're all done with workout. How was it? It was good. I like I was on Sam. We were sweaty before we even got in there. <laughs> yeah. But tell them where we're at now. Oh, we're at the pool. This is a great pool, right? Yeah. Infinity pool, folks. Isn't this insane? Thank you. Wow. <sighs> Getting in this right now. This is insane. It's definitely been on my bucket list to uh, be in an infinity pool on the top of the building. How does it feel? Amazing. <laughs> right. Are you kidding me? To be up here when the sun goes down. It's just nice because it's like kind of chilly in here. Yeah, all the other pools we've been in have been like hot mode. I know, it's like why? Man, that pool was relaxing. I also got to read and just watch the sunset. But goodbye, room. You've been good to us. Sri Lanka. It's time to go to the airport. Well, we are all packed up, ready to leave Sri Lanka. Bye. This has been one of the most incredible experiences of my life. And we'll talk about it more later, because we gotta get downstairs. But yeah, time to go to the airport. We just made it through security, but fun fact, laptops are now banned. Um, indefinitely from a, like these foreign countries because recently there was like apparently a bomb went off because of somebody's laptop in an airplane so we had to get that situated but we're all good Sri Lanka. This trip was definitely one of the most eye-opening experiences I've ever done in my life. It's kind of hard to process everything that happened and everything we saw and just being in a completely different culture than what we're used to. I wish there was a way we could communicate and share all the stories that happened on this trip, but the only way for that to be possible is for you to go out and make your own stories and experiences. I just want to give a couple final thoughts about this trip. I think the best word to describe the overall experience is perspective. I have a real heart for kids and our generation of youth, so it was really hard for me to see kids over there and what their living situations were like and just sort of the poverty level they're living in. It was really heartbreaking. And it did give a whole new perspective on what's happening in my own life and what's going on in my house and neighborhood and our city and it's just, uh, it's really hard to see that happening in other parts of the world. We also got to hear the testimony of two, maybe three people, local people in Sri Lanka, which I was one of my favorite parts of this trip because I didn't even know that we were going to be able to hear testimonies from people local in the area. So when we first got to hear one, I was really excited, seeing as they're in a completely different setting, different part of the world, just knew that their stories were gonna be a little bit different than the stories I hear on in my neck of the woods in Colorado. 
And as they gave their testimonies and talked about their stories and what they were going through, even though their situations might be different than the situations we see back in America here, the best part was that God's love was still the same. It was still the same even in different settings, situations, and I just thought that was so amazing. And it's definitely going to be one of the positives I'm taking away from this trip. But yeah, our trip there went by really fast. The traveling there and back did not go by very fast. I'm just so thankful that we were able to go on this. Thank you Compassion for having us. They're doing some amazing stuff. But I'm looking forward to our next trip. And that leads me to my next point, which I haven't announced yet, but Mary and I are going on another missions trip in June to Rwanda. We're going with our church. We're taking the youth group over there to do some stuff. It's going to be in the beginning of June, and looking forward to that. It's going to be a great time. Bring you guys along with us. I think that's all for Sri Lanka. Great trip. Mm -hmm.